G'day everyone and welcome to another episode of the How to Survive Kabuka series. I am once again your host Harry Miller from the How To Life and today we're going to be talking about part 3 of How to Survive Kapuka, which is things to bring. Now these are the people on screen now that I have to thank for the tips for this video. Don't forget if you have any extra tips that you think could help people out, comment them down below. If you've got any questions, comment them down below for the final FAQ. Without further ado, we're just going to get into the video and this is part 3 things to bring to Kapuka. The reason we're making this video is because one of the most frequently asked questions that I get on videos previously is what do I bring to Kapuka? Now on your joining instruction or your JI, if you go to the back there's an equipment list and everything that you need for Kapuka is pretty much on that equipment list. But just in case you glossed over that and it's now 10 o'clock at night, you're heading off tomorrow and you're still packing and you don't know what to bring, Here's a few things that you'll need. Now, nail clippers. I know it sounds stupid, but your nails will grow and they do need to be cut. But when you're getting nail clippers, try and get the one without the file. Your nails will be rough, but no one really files their nails anyway these days. <laughs> try and get them without the file because if they have the file on them, some JIs will count that as contraband. They'll actually be confiscated from you because it will count as a weapon because it has a file and files have sharp points. But Nail clippers you'll need. Baby wipes. And you probably think, why would I need baby wipes? Well, not only are they great for removing cam paint from your face, they're also great for having makeshift showers out field because you don't get those. And they're also really good for cleaning the plastics on an F88. A lot of people forget to clean their plastics when they're cleaning their weapon. When you take it back to the RIs and if the plastics are dirty or the outside of the scope's dirty, you'll get told to clean it again. So it's always handy to have some baby wipes on hand that you can just wipe that off with and then you can make it look brand spanking new and you can hand back to the armory. And QEs will love you for it. So for Kapuka, it's probably best to bring two packs because trust me, you're going to use them. Someone's going to forget baby wipes and they're going to need some and you need to help out your mates. So two packs of baby wipes. Chapstick and Vaseline. Now the chapstick part's pretty obvious. Your lips are going to crack and if you put chapstick on them, it's going to protect them. But the Vaseline part, let me explain. Some mornings when it's really cold and you go for PT, it happened to me, you go for a run at like six in the morning, it's minus one degree and all your skin up your arms cracks and it hurts for the rest of the course. Now that takes ages to heal, especially when you're using those parts of your body every day and it's painful, trust me. So what you can do with Vaseline is Vaseline is really good for putting on anywhere on your body pretty much to protect you from the cold. It'll stop your skin from cracking. What I did before I went to bed every night is I'll put it on my hands because it does get quite cold in the rooms and our heater didn't work properly. I'll put it on my hands. It does get quite cold out field and it's also handy for waterproofing stuff. Now if you don't want your stuff in your pack to get wet, you can just or if you've got holes in your pack already, for some reason, you can put Vaseline over the hole and it will patch it up. It will stop water from getting through. Beauty of Vaseline is when you take it in, it's pretty much only a thing you really need in winter. You can take it in summer if you want, but winter you definitely need it. It also keeps you warm. Um, it doesn't make that much of a difference. It's not like you put it on and it instantly heats up and you feel like you're all warm and toasty back in your bed at home, but it does keep you a little bit warm and also does protect you from the wind, which is really good. So Vaseline and Chapstick, I'd highly suggest both of those. Letters, stamps, and paper. Now, this is obvious, this one's on the JI as well, but a lot of people don't read that part and they think, oh, I don't need that part, but it is good to bring stamped letters so and paper to write on so you can write letters back home. Give your parents or your friends or your family or your spouse your address and they can write letters back to you. It is good, it keeps you sane. When the mail call comes along and then you get handed a piece of mail, it's always really cool because everyone else is like, oh, you got sent something from the outside and it's like, yeah, I did. It's, it's cool, so definitely take stuff for writing mail. Another thing that's on the JI and that you will need and that do not forget this because you will get reamed if you forget it, you will need these three padlocks and two spare keys. Now it only says you need one spare key but it's always good to keep two because the RIs will take one of your spare keys so that way if you lose it you can go to them but it's also good to have another spare key so that way if you lose your key you don't have to get embarrassed by going to the RI and asking for a key and getting reamed, stash it in your desk and use that one. Actually, but don't stash it in your desk. That was bad advice. Try and stash it somewhere where our eyes wouldn't look. Smart civilian clothes. Now in the defense force, we refer to civilians or civilian clothes as civvies or civvy clothes. So get used to the terminology of civvies. And for those, jeans are okay. Just make sure they're long, can't have short jeans. Make sure you have it nice collared shirt and also bring a belt because you will have to tuck in your shirt when you go around base in your civvies which will only be like twice 
the entire time you're there, which is when you're arriving and when you're leaving. You need to tuck in your shirt, so take a belt. And ladies, I'm not so, not so sure about the ladies dress code. I'll update that down in the comments below. I'm gonna go search it up after I make this video and then I'll comment it down below what the ladies dress code is in terms of civvies. Okay, black trash bags. Now, I don't think that's on the JI to bring those, but it's always handy to bring trash bags because when you go out field, you will need them. Bring trash bags, um, you can use them for a lot of things when you're heading back home, you can chuck all your dirty laundry into it, but they're especially useful for out fields because I'm pretty sure they supply like one or two trash bags, but you will need more than that. It's always good to have more to hand out to your mates. Black pens. Now you're probably thinking stationary, wouldn't that be supplied? Yes it is, but people lose pens, bring at least 10. No other colors because it has to be a black pen. People are bound to need pens at some point. They'll probably get stolen from you, so stash them somewhere. Not only our eyes will, will not look, but also where other recruits won't look because pens are a commodity at Kapuka. So yeah, bring bring spare pens um, and bring some extra just in case your mates need some. Uh, you probably won't get them back, so be prepared to lose your pens. Black electrical tape. Now this will also be supplied to you, but they'll only give you like one roll per room. So it'll take you like four times as long to do all the things you need to do with electrical tape. Now, what do you need that for? Um, you'll find out, but spoiler alert, it's for when you do up your webbing and your packs, you're taping down all the loose straps so they don't flop around everywhere because our eyes hate that. They hate floppy things. It is supplied, but it is smart to bring your own and bring like a decent sized roll, not a tiny little roll, but a decent sized roll because you can use it and you can pass it on to your mate and you'll have not just one roll, but two rolls in your room. And that way if someone steals your room's roll, you have another spare to go. So you only really need to bring one of them, but it's it's probably good to bring two. Now, the second final thing you will need before you go to Kapuka is a basic knowledge on what to expect. This isn't a self-promotion thing, but here is a great place to start. It's a great place to learn from people because not just me, there's a, <clears throat> there's a community down below where you can ask questions, people will answer them. I've already seen it. Someone's asked the question and then not even me, someone else has come along and beat me to answer the question. But it's it's good that we've created a community here where people can ask questions and they get answered. So they're better prepared for Kapuka. So make sure you know what you're diving into. Don't dive in until you know what's expected of you, what you expect of it, and what's gonna go down while you're there. It's always important to be prepared before a mission and Kapuka is one hell of a mission. Final thing you need is motivation to complete the course. Now this is not something tangible, this is something that's inside your head, this is something that you have to convince yourself of, something you have to remind yourself of every day at Kapuka because there are gonna be really low points there where all you wanna do is quit and go home. But if you really wanna join the army, you need to know why. It's not just, I wanted to join the army, it has to be, I wanted to join the army because your reason could be family, your reason could be personal, or because you just think that it's gonna be a cool thing to do. And if it's a cool thing to do, if that's your motivation, you gotta convince yourself it's a cool thing to do. Don't just go, oh, we get to shoot guns, it's pretty cool. You gotta go, oh, we get to shoot guns while getting paid for it and we also get to exercise while getting paid for it. Pretty much we get to do everything I wanted to do as a child while getting paid for it. And that, that wasn't my primary motivation, but from the age of like 12, I always wanted to join the Defense Force. And then I was finally there when I was at Kapuka. I had my really low moment. I reminded myself, wait, I wanted this. I applied for this. I asked for this. So it's my fault that I'm here. But I gotta remember that since I was a little kid, I wanted to be in the Defense Force and I'm doing it. I'm gonna see this through, I'm gonna complete it. Not my primary motivation, but that was one of my motivations. Yeah, the motivation that you have at Kapuka needs to be the thing that gets you up in the morning and the thing that makes you smile before you go to sleep at night. Make sure you have that motivation in your head. Make sure you know exactly what it is. Make sure you know it from heart. Make sure you know why you're there, why you're doing what you're doing and why you wanna do it. So that's all for me for this video. Make sure if you got any extra tips or any extra things people need to bring for Kapuka, anything that's related to this video or other videos I've done or just Kapuka in general, comment it down below. If you have any questions, make sure you ask them down below. There's a final FAQ coming, it's the last part of the series and um, any questions that are asked down below, we're going to answer them in the final FAQ. That is all from me. I've been your host, Harrison Miller for the How To Life um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Um, I'm really enjoying doing this series, so it, it's good that um, it's we have already started to create a community where people are asking questions and they're getting answered by other people who have been in the Defence Force, other people are joining the Defence Force. We've even got people commenting what their enlistment dates are, so 
people can find buddies to go down with before they even meet them. And I think that is just awesome. And I'm extremely proud of that. And I'm extremely proud of all of you people for commenting down below and helping me create this community. So good on yous for that one. Now, next video will be up at Sunday, next Sunday at seven o'clock like this one was. I will see you all then. It's going to be about fitness. That should be fun. That's one of the most frequently asked questions about Kapuka. But until then, I'll see you next time. Three. But with all that said, here's part two, things to know. So one of the things you'll need to know as a recruit at Kapuka is the door knock procedure. Now this is very important. It will be shown to you, but remember to listen because I didn't really listen the first time it was shown to me. I stuffed it up quite a few times actually. So all you're doing is coming to attention on the line marked near the door.